My name is Helen Tegler and I'm the November Artist in Residence at the studio of the Corning Museum of Glass. Well, I started in undergraduate. Uh, I was not fortunate enough to come to a place like Corning and see glass before I went to college, so it was actually kind of a surprise. I went as a graphic designer because I still wanted to be in the arts, but um, when I sat in on the classes I really didn't uh, find a connection with that material and I was lucky to meet someone in the department that was a glass blower at the time. Took my first class my freshman year and ended up graduating with the degree. I'm usually more of a hot shop, cold shop kind of person. I've grown up with more of that tradition so uh, working in the kiln is a fairly new thing for me. I actually started this uh, process, at least the, the beginning parts of it, a couple years ago. Um, just had access to a kiln and some scrap glass and started to experiment because I didn't have access to a hot shop. So this re residency has really given me the opportunity to um, practice and play and delve right into this process and learn a lot more about it um, because, again, kiln working isn't really my forte. My biggest influence is really nature, uh, in specifics plants and their transitions. So looking at branching structures, the emergence of seeds and leaves and roots and things of that nature, and seed pods. Um, for the work that I've been doing here during the residency, it's really focused mostly on the surface um, of seeds and pollen. So looking at those textures and those details. In, in sort of a close-up version and using that as my starting point for inspiration. My attraction to the sea, there's a lot of things that can come behind it. Yes, I grew up in a household that we planted big gardens every year to help feed our family and it's just really fascinating to watch all of these little teeny things turn into these big plants and things. So this definitely has been a part of my life and, and part of my heart since I was a very young child. One of the biggest challenges I had in the early stages was just the shrinkage of the material. And so as the powder heats, it squeezes in on itself. So if you're adding five or six different layers, maybe those aren't going to match up by the time you get them fired because as the glass squeezes it shrinks and bends or something of that nature. So I really wanted to do some kind of time trials, some shape trials um, and be able to work through some of those to get a little bit more predictable effects. I've worked with that, I've been able to work through some of that um, and I, I learned uh, some different ways by just sheer trial and error. I've fired almost every kiln every day um, and so that's just an invaluable amount of time to be able to try and try and try again to be able to work out and through some of those things but I did come into this residency with the idea that I wanted to accomplish um, a few set pieces and then more experimental things but all relating to that body of work on seeds and pollen. Uh, the experience of the, the month has gone too quickly, of course, but it's been fantastic. And so it's been a really uh, invigorating environment to work in, to really see all the things that are happening in this studio. It's a very uh, lively studio. There's lots of things that are happening around the studio and the museum and things. So it's, it's just really an inspiring place to work. You, you feel like the hard work that you're doing is being recognized and supported and you also feel like you're surrounded by other artists who are working just as hard. So it's just a really inspiring place to be. If you know of an individual or group who should be profiled on a WSKG art segment, please send an email to wskgarts at wskg.org.